All right, and we have the second of the semifinals. Ghost Driver has made it to the semis. Can he take it home and win a three, the trifecta, uh, a third tournament here versus Fyreal is going to be first on the chopping block to see if he can, in fact, do that. Fyreal, relatively new to the tournament scene, has not won uh, any major tournaments just yet, but as of now is looking to potentially take home one of the Conqueror's Cup Qualifier. So we'll see if he is able to do that against a very tough opponent in Ghoster Driver. We did go over Ghoster Driver's decks in the quarterfinals match. We want to take a look at it. Link will be below in the description. But as far as Fyreal's decks are concerned, we have Bromnivia, Vimer, and MF Scouts. So going with the two control deck lineup, uh, definitely not something that we're used to seeing. So we'll see if it pays off here for Fyreal. <laughs> agree with you i gotta agree with you there boulevard i mean i think that he's just on fire he is just on freaking fire lately and when you are on a hot streak like that it's hard for anybody to take you down winding god he's just on like a perpetual hot streak so we've seen it before uh we know we know what that can do for somebody if you just keep winning and winning and winning so we'll see if ghoster driver can go ahead and win another one here headed into game one of the semifinals of pcs qualifier number four Okay, so this is the matchup that I was kind of curious about because, like, as good of a job as Ghoster Driver has consistently done at picking on the PZ Ionia decks, like, does three health potion make any kind of a difference? Because I'm inclined to say no, but, I mean, I, I also don't want to look dumb if it does. That's hard. I mean, I feel like, so, health potion makes a huge difference, obviously, in the aggro matchups, right? It makes a lot of sense. I, so I like it a lot in the burn matchups where these decks kind of gas out and they're just playing the top yep. decks to kill you mm -hmm. um, because it does represent a little bit more damage than they can sometimes push out through like a Legion Grenadier or a Mystic Shot. But mm -hmm. against the straight up board control aggro deck, it's not often that we're seeing them like barely squeak out a lethal. It's usually like they have a dominating board presence and they've rallied and you're dead by like an extra 17 HP. Yeah, see, sorry. That's that's what we were talking about before. I always interchange burn and aggro when, when I shouldn't. Um, so, yeah. I mean, like, people don't really agree on it. For me, it's always been, like, for me, burn is spell-based and yeah, aggro is unit-based. No, I agree. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so in, in this case, the Draven... See, but see, there's the thing. Draven Darius is, like, to me, it's burn, but it's actually more unit-based, technically. Yep. But it does rely a lot on burn spells. Whereas, like, the Demacia decks, they're almost entirely... It's combat-based. Yep. So, I would say in Legends of Ruterra, it's combat-based versus, like, actual effects. Let's maybe, okay. maybe put it that way for, for yeah. lore. Okay. I mean, I, if you've got Decimate in a deck, I'm willing to let you <laughs> say it's yeah, burn. Yeah, you're burn. Yeah, yeah, you're burn deck. So, but yeah, in, in burn matchups, I agree because burn's trying to calculate that exact lethal. Aggro, not so much. It's over the top swings on specific turns. And I don't know if three health is going to help you. Maybe if you have two, that might let you live for one turn. But if you're at the point where you're playing two health potions in one turn, yeah, I think you're already dead. So, <laughs> yeah, and like as you mentioned, it really doesn't give you a lot in terms of Heimerdinger value, the one mana turret, kind of whatever. Um, you know, getting a 2 2 turret makes a lot more of a difference in this matchup than it necessarily does against the Darius Harrowing. So, we are going to see Mystic Shot fired off on this Petty Officer. That's about as, I mean, as cool as the Petty Officer buff was, you do still sometimes die to a Mystic Shot. And as we constantly say, there are no bad one drops in Legends or in Terra, but that Dreg Dredger's after the nerf is not looking great. Yeah, I think uh, we got to take that, that phrase back because <laughs> that's pretty bad. That's probably one of the worst. Yeah, just getting this one one that like shows your opponent some cards that you don't have in hand, not phenomenal. But we do see Ghost Driver pick up his single copy of Relentless Pursuit, and that can be a big difference maker in this matchup. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, I mean, he does have some more units to go a little wide as well. Uh, to potentially get this Bannerman some pretty pretty sick value on the following attack turn. And then again, yeah, going Relentless Pursuit for uh, for two attacks in a row on the next attack token most likely is what we're going to see. And that might be enough to put enough pressure on Fyreal, but I don't know. I mean, we do see one health potion. We also see, more importantly, probably the Spirit's Refuge, but only if Fyreal can actually draw something worth playing it on. So we'll see if that's the case. So... Things get interesting here. I don't think Fyreal can play Heimerdinger on the next turn. I... Because, 
with two mana left, you open yourself up to the single combat potential. Uh, and how I thought this was going to play out was that I thought Ghoster Driver was going to get through his slew of attacks this turn. Pyreal was going to play the Heimerdinger. And then we have the potential for Ghoster Driver to smell that blood in the water and go for the Relentless Pursuit while he's only got three mana left. But this Vi top deck might just, you know, sort of uh, bail out Fyreal here. Yeah, the Vi is huge. Uh, and I think that the single combat you were talking about is exactly why Ghoster Driver decided to go for the Grizzled Ranger first as opposed to the Bird. Um, so something that plays out really big in this matchup is Health Potion onto Vi. Ooh... Ooh, look at you. That's actually a very good point. Probably probably worth it's probably worth way more to heal your Vi than it actually is your Nexus because you'll get more trade value. And at the end of the day, if you can prevent Ghoster from going wide and getting Bannerman value or literally any other sort of value, then yeah, that's that's way more valuable. I agree. Yeah, so in this I uh, I don't think it's as valuable against the Darrowing deck where you are going to see things like Basilos Rider just one shotting the Vi regardless, but with this Spirit's Refuge in hand for the Vi, as well as the Health Potion, we could just see Fyreal completely take over the game with this card. So we see Concussive Palm off the top for... Go or for not Ghost of Driver, for Fyreal, which, yeah, gonna play even a little bit more into this Vi plan, and, you know, the Heimer could come down this turn. It's, it's a pretty safe Heimer. kind of depends on if Fyreal wants to use this... Uh, Spirit's Refuge on a turn like this, you know, depending on... Because we could see Misfortune and Relentless Pursuit this turn. We are going to see Bannerman come out here. So could be setting up for the Relentless Pursuit. And this could play out pretty poorly for Ghoster Driver, as we do see 8-man on the side of Fyreal, which does represent, you know, Spirit's Refuge, Health Potion, and Twin Disciplines, or Get Excited. Like, this could just be disastrous. I could even see him discard the Heimerdinger to this Get Excited and still win this game. That's how impactful this Vi is going to be here. Instead, we are going to go for the Concussive Palm. Makes a lot of sense. Stunning or freezing these scouts is the best way to deal with them. And it looks like we're going to get single combat as the answer to prevent the 3-2. But that does mean that, you know, this Vi does open up as a potential for the Spirit's Refuge. Maybe get excited. Anything to stop this Grizzled Ranger from killing the Vi. Because I do think keeping this Vi alive is very useful right now. Yeah, this Vi absolutely needs to live. Uh, this Vi surviving means it's going to trade with yet another unit. Uh, which, I mean, the Bannerman did already come down, so it's already gotten its value, but it's going to need to stick around to get rid of probably this Misfortune as well. That's really the big card that you're worried about right now. And we do see the Twin Disciples come out, which is another awesome way to deal with it right now. Uh, this single combat will put it down to two health, and we still have this health potion to heal it if it ends up getting, uh, you know, maybe single combated again or something. But how many single combats are is Ghoster playing? Uh, I think he was playing two. Let me check on that for you real quick. Scroll down to this deck list. Yeah, yeah it is two single combat. Okay, so actually, yeah. So that's really good that one of those is already uh, gone and done with on the side of Ghost or Driver. So Furiel probably feels pretty comfortable about this Vi right now uh, because of that health potion. Although sitting at seven health, now you now it's like, okay, well, what is actually more valuable? I do th still think it's the Vi because overall she's going to prevent more damage over multiple turns. Uh, we do also have the Spirit's Refuge, which will be huge in giving her uh, lifesteal maybe this turn, maybe next turn. Yeah, I think that your health isn't really a concern right now. You're very likely to get off a 10 health swing with this Vi, go back up to 17. Mm -hmm. You might as well health potion the Vi to give her a little bit more sustainability in a matchup like this. And, mm -hmm. you know, if he can draw a second health potion, we could just see four Vi attacks kill Ghoster Driver. Yeah. And of course, you know, oh, just in case my Vi plan doesn't work out, I guess I have this little Yordle named Heimerdinger as a backup plan in my hand. And this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. It's like Vi also kind of is a win condition in, in and of herself. I mean, she's really just put in to stave off aggression from aggro and mid-range decks like she is right now. But like, oh, well, hey, by the way, she's leveled and uh, you're time, time's ticking now. Uh, so yeah, this is turns. one of the reasons that we see Vi consistently come out of the Karma Ezreal decks now. Cutting that one Karma mm -hmm. is for matchups like this where the deck typically struggles. You know, Vi gives you a lot more agency in matchups like that. And that is kind of why Heimer Vi has a bit of a better time against decks like this. The removal suite of the Karma Ezreal not lining up super well onto it. But if you can get that Heimer or Vi down in an impactful way, you just have a lot more protection for fighting for board. Yeah, and now we're going to see... Uh, I imagine this Mystic Shot. I mean, I don't know if you just play the Mystic Shot now on this turn to get the additional turret blocker down to maybe avoid 
having to play the refuge on Vi next turn if, if it really comes down to it, or if you just bank the spell mana here. I'm curious to see if we're going to health pot. Yeah, okay. So not going for the blowout with the health potion on the Vi instead of just using pro, instead just, you know, using it proactively, mm -hmm. getting this Badger Bear off the board, getting this turret down. And these one mana turrets do play out a lot better in a matchup like this as opposed to the Darrowing matchup, just because mm -hmm. you do have those chump blockers available. You know, we saw earlier on in Annie Desu versus Ghost or Driver, those scrap dash assemblies, just those random one ones being able to block out Zed or any non elusive unit uh, actually comes up big in a lot of matchups. And here is Misfortune saying they can block, but they can't push damage. Well, you know, they're good for blocking Zed when, you know, Zed's not stunned instead. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's not be too hasty there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it looks like we are just going to go ahead and get this Mystic Shot, possibly. And yep. And we're going to get the other turret down, which will basically just provide blockers across the entire field. Uh, maybe we'll end up seeing the refuge come out next turn. Maybe not. It looks like on eight mana, we will actually be able to see the get excited and the spirits refuge come down in the same turn. If that's the route uh, that we need to take here. Yeah, this get excited, not going to get much done, though, as I would imagine ghost or driver is going to open with the Genevieve mm -hmm. taking that, uh, you know, Oh my God! There's the second health potion. All right, we just we just figured it out. Discarded. We just are uh, you think so? I don't know. I mean, I don't think you're discarding spirits refuge. I don't know that you have to play the get excited this turn. If we do see the Genevieve come down, as I said, you know, it's not great value. So maybe we do get to see the health potion onto the Vi. I don't think it'll happen this turn though, as I think we are going to see the spirits refuge. But that should, if Ghost or Driver goes for a relentless pursuit this turn, it's lethal or fire ale. Well, and and. Well, actually, yeah, I don't think you ever health potion the, the Vi here, right? Because then the Genevieve can just challenge her and kill her anyways. So you're still going to get the Spirit's Refuge off, but the health potion isn't going to put her out of kill range of the Genevieve. Yeah, I think that... So maybe you Spirit's Re Maybe, you know, Genevieve comes down, goes for a trade onto the Vi, you throw out the Spirit's Refuge, then something else attacks, you health pot the Vi, uh, get it back up, and then, like, you don't, you don't have to play Get Excited mm -hmm. this turn. You don't have a great target for it unless, you know, Genevieve challenges your tough turret but then you get blown up by the rangers resolve so like things aren't looking great for fire Ale. sorry things are looking phenomenal for fire Ale. in this specific interaction of looking for get excited value it's not looking great for okay okay all right yeah you just confused i was like wait a second i think fire Ale's in a pretty good spot right now oh, no. fire <laughs> in, in a phenomenal position in terms of get excited value it's looking a little suspect but who cares? yeah yeah i don't think you could just not have get excited in your hand, and I think you're still in an okay spot here just because of this, uh, the spirit's refuge. I mean, even you said two turns ago, you get a spirit. You're not even worried about your life because the spirit's refuge literally just heals you to full. <laughs> like, I just remembered that the spirit's refuge barrier doesn't matter because mm -hmm. the misfortunes on field. That was something that I did sort of neglect. So this health potion mm -hmm. might have to come out in conjunction with that. Yeah, and that's why it feels bad that you can't get excited the misfortune off the board pre combat because of this Genevieve. Yeah. Um, now, if you go ahead and health potion the Vi here, you could still actually trade with the Grizzled Ranger and the Vi live if you play yeah. the barrier. So that looks like that might be an option that Fyreal is going for. This will also level Yeah, uh, this does also give you that 1-1 one, one turret to be able to discard to the Get Excited if you really want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this Spirit's Refuge basically just staves off all the aggression Ghost or Driver could possibly have this turn, though he is going to lose the Heimerdinger you know, does still get that four mana fearsome turret, does still have the option to throw out this get excited if he really wants to, to get an elusive turret as well, but going to hold that one back, understanding that there are no great targets for it. Yeah, and you know, honestly, I will take that trade any day. Play a Spirit's Refuge to basically completely nullify your opponent's turn with like a Scythria or a Genevieve. That just feels really freaking good. The only I think you play the fearsome oh no because i guess yeah genevieve can just challenge something and the misfortune ability does let you just pick off the one health so there's no reason to play the fearsome turret just yet in fact we could even see ghost or driver just pass to never give fire the opportunity to get down that turret i mean i think there's no reason that you'd want to just toss a turret away though because of how little cards you have in your hand you probably want to get units off the field on the side of ghost or driver yeah that's what i'm saying so if ghost or driver just passes here Fyreal can either play the turret and lose it to the Genevieve Misfortune combo, or he can just pass the turn back and have it get discarded. Oh, that's right. I, man, you know how many times I forget Misfortune's ability, like, when counting it towards, like, combat? Like, oh, yeah, they're one-off lethal. Wait, nope, never mind. Misfortune's <laughs> ability is going to go off. Like, it happens so Pretty often. Much. 
Oh, and it looks like going for the attack on Vi. So this will heal Fyreal to full, but then also deal plenty of damage across the board. And now we're in a position where Fyreal was looking good, but Fyreal's top decking. And top decking feels a little bit better for Ghost or Driver than it does for Fyreal. Yeah, this Misfortune is actually just doing a lot of work for Ghost or Driver, being mm -hmm. able to rip through these turrets. Uh, you know, the, the miss, uh, even the Get Excited is not going to be able to take it out on the following turn, thanks to the Ranger's Resolve. And Relentless Pursuit doesn't feel phenomenal without any scouts, but, you know, it's still not going to feel bad. And now that we do see Fyreal go back up to 20, uh, the Relentless Pursuit back on the table as the board is still advantageous for Ghoster Driver now that all is said and done, does still have out this misfortune. That means no blockers for Fyreal. And, you know, suddenly Ghoster Driver's back in the driver's seat. We went all in on that Vi game plan, but it just wasn't enough because the barrier wasn't available through the misfortune ability. Yeah, and that just goes to show you how absolutely amazing Misfortune's uh, ability is. And I'm not sure, but is this Misfortune leveling this turn? Um, God, it might. All right, because we know what that means. If it, okay, nope, not nope. quite. We got one more, one more. I was going to say, because if she levels, that just, that's always game over. It is always game over. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, actually holding back the Fearsome Turret. Um, I guess That's, it, it's going to get value at some point. So I guess it doesn't really matter whether this flash of brilliance could change things. Actually, transmogulator. Oh, that's oh, actually ooh. what I was hoping for was the wow. unlicensed innovation. That's kind of what you were wow. looking for. Is that is that five five? You know, of course. While what's it called? God, true shot barrage does look appealing. Uh, we do see the double rangers resolve out of Ghoster Driver, which. Um, as we saw with Twitch Rivals, is a great card to play both pre and in combat, doubling down on that. <laughs> <laughs> the, you said that so seriously. <laughs> You're really Look, selling it today with the with the <laughs> Trick Two G played it so seriously. Oh my God, uh, that was I still can't even believe that. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> does level here though, right? But I, we on the next attack, yeah. Up to oh, the gate. wow. Oh, it doesn't matter. We, we top deck Genevieve. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he, he wins. Okay. So, Ghost of Driver looking to go ahead 1-0 here in this first round of the semifinal. Uh, hey, you put me... that back. You don't... Oh, don't you dare I update that game. I'm yet. not doing it yet. Yeah, okay, you better not. I'm not doing it yet. <laughs> Wait. Oh, well, no, the, this is lethal. This the, is super lethal, then. This shit... Yeah, this is definitely lethal. Okay, yeah. Denying the misfortune ability was like the one hope you had. Yeah, and wow. So that was, that looked to be like in decent control for the Vimer deck, but I don't know if he was able to beat this Vimer deck here with the scouts. It's probably looking better. Um, I think the Genevieve was just a little bit too backbreaking of a turn for. Oh, yeah. Fyreal there. Yeah. And this... now I don't, I don't think this is a great matchup for Fyreal. No, no, this is terrible. This is like Darrowing 100% has the advantage. So basically, Fyril just has to hope that Darrowing draws crap um, and doesn't draw any, you know, like Precious Pets early or Legion Saboteurs or basically any card in their deck. Uh <laughs> <laughs> even, if, even if Fyril does manage to pick this one up, then they're left with a Scout deck as the last deck, which, you know, also doesn't feel like it pairs super well into this, into this Darrowing deck. No, so this is two pretty good matchups on the side of Ghost or Driver. Uh, so it looks like I'm hoping, you know, we're going to get that Ghost or Driver versus uh, Numiel Finals. That's going to be a good one. Oh, I think, was Fyreal messaging Numiel? Did Numiel just wish him luck? I think so. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay, so she's a little scared of Ghost or Driver. Yeah, I don't... Uh... We'll see. Oh wait, can we? Do, could we see Ghoster's hand last time or no? Yes. Okay. It'll probably just take a second to get it up, but I'm sure we'll get the hand here in a couple of seconds. Okay, cool. Because I'm really curious to see what uh, Ghoster Driver has to start this game off. And okay, well, that's not good. Uh, we will see it get killed with a Mystic Shot, so that's uh, that's an okay trade on the side of Fire Real. This is a really weak opener from Ghoster Driver, though. Missing turn one and then playing a one drop on turn two that came yeah. off the top um, mm -hmm. does mean that we're probably looking at, you know, a couple of expensive cards. We could have a Harrowing, could have a Darius, could have a bunch of spells. And that is what the, mm -hmm. one of the big weaknesses that we've seen out of this Darrowing deck is just overloading on spells. 
specifically transfusion uh that card has a very narrow window of getting value especially because the deck does curve out so well it can be really awkward to find time to actually throw down the two mana no matter how good the transfusion looks unless you're getting it onto like a disciple onto something else but even then like that generally comes out turn four at the earliest and that's really your basilisk rider turn so it's you know it can be a little bit awkward but ghost or driver playing off curve is going to have the option to bank up a bit of spell mana going into these later turns so now we could have basilisk rider into transfusion available though we do see the will of ioni on the side of fire is sort of the best answer for a play like that yeah the other thing on the side of fire ale is that uh multiple elusive units so fire actually could potentially deal a little bit more damage faster to ghoster driver than uh, ghoster can in return just because again you know this will of ionia let's say a basilisk comes down that gets returned to hand next turn fire will be able to play the shadow assassin poke for five more damage so um i do like how fire hand is playing out wow uh uh now i really how do we not have ghoster driver's hand now i'm wondering what the hell is in there what is there three Three Harrowing, an Atrocity, two Darius? <laughs> like, is that in a transfusion? I mean, oh! We oh, we were close! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay, yeah, we were close. A two Darius and a Harrowing feels really bad. Uh, Noxian Fervor, not the greatest right now. And the transfusion is okay, but not, again, not the greatest, especially now that it's getting pulled with the Vi, this Disciple. And the Decisive Maneuver, too. Oh, God, this hand feels terrible. Yeah, um, and neither the decisive maneuver nor the transfusion actually give the disciple agency to trade onto the spy. Yeah, this is actually so. When I was talking about earlier, you know, Fyreal just hoping that Ghoster Driver basically just misses all of his draws. This is about as good as it gets for for Fyreal. Yeah, and this is a consistent problem we see in the Daring deck. I feel like more often than not, we see this deck breaking, which is actually just statistically unlikely like it only runs 13 spells the fact that we constantly see this deck in positions where they're not curving out and they're just getting loaded up on these expensive harrowings mm -hmm. and these sort of awkward or useless transfusions you know and we're actually going to see this noxian fervor fired off onto this solitary monk just to kind of get a little bit of value out of the card but that does mean going into the darius turn Fyreal is still at 20 life and still hasn't fired <laughs> off any impactful removal spells any health potions any spirits refuges uh, if Fyreal is going to win a game against this deck, this is what it looks like. Yeah, and like the Darius is going to come down. I would not even be surprised if a straight up Thermo Beam just comes down. Like yeah. just nine mana Thermo, you dead. Ya boy's and gone. This Harrowing isn't even a particularly impactful one. You know, it, with the second Harrowing, things are going to get spooky because then we got four Darius is coming out and that's spooky. You can't stave that off forever, but... All Fyreal has to do is pick up a deny before that happens, and they're chilling. Well, so maybe there's kind of the out for Ghost Driver, though. I mean, you, you nail. Oh, he's actually going the Will of Ionia route. Okay. So possibly playing the Will just recognize, or actually, it's because he ended up attacking first. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I was like, wait, why would you just play the Thermo? But obviously, you can't in response to an attack. So I was going to say maybe he's realizing that he can't kill it because of the Harrowing, because that honestly might be an out right now for ghost or driver if if he um is able to get that harrowing off on two darius yeah and now an impactful spirits refuge taken off the table though we do see the second vi in Fyreal's hand going to be able to fight for board again and i think Fyreal just understanding that ghost or driver has an expensive hand wants him to continuously play out these dariuses rather than anything else and this is sort of the concept of attacking your opponent's mana pool that we see mm -hmm. most often in ionia decks where you understand what they can play over the next couple of turns. You force them into making specific plays. We see it a lot happen against Brahm Swain, where you just force your opponent into positions where they constantly have to run out multiple Leviathans or play the Swain over and over again and just sort of limit what they can do in a turn while you get to continue to develop. And the Thermo Beam is going to play out great for this as you do get to force your opponent into this Darius and only have to leave open five mana to be able to kill that. Yeah, these thermal beams coming in big. I mean, and not only did Ghost or Driver draw poorly, but Fyreal also drew the two thermal beams to basically, you know, counteract any large threats such as Darius played by Ghost or Driver. And we see a second Vi come down. Wow. Um, so he's actually he's going with the Vi to establish the the tempo in the field presence instead of just killing the Darius straight up here. Yeah, also had the opportunity to just take out the Darius with the Vi, but none of us have Thermo Beam available. Uh, this is 
Uh, this actually probably isn't going to be an open attack out of Ghoster Driver, understanding that this is, you know, only representing one damage and the Darius dying. So mm -hmm. might as well get down this Basilisk Rider. Might as well get down this uh, Legion Grenadier. Yeah, Legion Grenadier. But that does open up Fyreal for this potential Thermo Beam play onto the Darius. Well, and I don't know. I, I think it's kind of bad that Fyreal didn't play one of these Thermos, at least on the past two turns, because now you're staring down three Thermos. And I mean, you can only really play one in a turn. So he's kind of between a rock and a hard place now because nothing else impacts the board really. And wow, he's actually going to go ahead and pass. And it looks like he's willing to take damage here to maybe kill something after the fact with the get excited and then clean up with a thermo beam. That does seem to be the case. Thermo beam is definitely one of those cards that like gets really uh, clogging up on it feels really bad because like you said, you can only play one in a turn and because a lot of the spells in the game are balanced around the spell mana system. It, you mm -hmm. kind of take yourself off of that. It can make your next turn a lot more awkward, especially in a spell heavy deck like this one. And, you know, Fyreal not having a Heimerdinger yet does mean that while he's in a good stable position currently, he's not proactively winning the game. And one of the things that we do consistently see out of this Darrowing deck is eventually they are going to stop drawing spells. And they have one of the most powerful mid to late games we've ever seen out of an aggro deck. And Fyreal doesn't have a harrowing or doesn't have a deny for the harrowing just yet. So Ghost of Driver going to be able to fire that one off in the next couple of turns after this other Darius ends up coming down and things are going to get spooky for Fyreal here. Yeah, literally with with the harrowing uh, <laughs> potentially coming down because, yeah, I mean, Ghost of Driver actually probably doesn't mind too much that this Darius is going to die. Now, the decisive maneuver might be considered here just because it's going to get you an extra four damage. So I think that that would make a lot of sense here. And it looks like the Ghost Driver is going to go ahead um, and play that. He yeah, is actually is. saving the Darius, though. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. It represents eight damage getting pushed through. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks like, you know, Ghost Fire is going to fall down to four. The Health Potion is going to save him from one Decimate, but there's two Decimates in Ghost Driver's hand thanks to this Darius, as well as this Legion Grenadier. So uh, when all is said and done, if one of these Decimates does turn back into Darius, doesn't get down, played down as a Decimate. But I think that means we just open with the Darius's Decimate, and that gives you the second Decimate no matter what happens to the Darius. You have the Harrowing still available, or we could just see the Thermo Beam onto the Darius now. But wow. yeah, once again, Fyreal just not firing this card off pre-combat, uh, you know, in sort of in response to the Basilisk Rider, and it he gets punished for it. Yeah, that literally just turned... That one card, Decisive Maneuver, literally just turned that entirely crappy hand around with five mana. Like, the amount of damage... Like, he was at 20 for the longest time, and now we snap our fingers, and all of a sudden, he's at four, and he's gonna die. Like, I, I think that keeping the Darius around as long as he did was huge, huge mistake. I don't think that that should have stuck on board that long. Yeah, and now we do have the opportunity. And, you know, the Deny and the Will of Ionia are picked up for Fyreal, so he's got a little bit more chance to fight things out in this matchup, but Ghost of Driver now has a fair amount of burn available to him. The Decimate could get denied here. I think I like developing the Darius the most is alongside sort of the Legion Grenadier. This opens you up for a potential Saboteur or Demolitionist play onto the Grenadier later on. That represents four damage. Decimate does as well. I think it's pretty likely that you get this Deny out of your opponent before you play the Harrowing if you have the read that Deny could be there. And continue to run things out this way yeah wow this is crazy um uh, so we see the will again instead of the thermo beam it's gonna return the darius but now i imagine ghost or driver might go for a decimate oh no sorry he's only got four mana left okay never yeah. mind so we're gonna see probably a, a legion of grenadier no he opts to not go with the legion grenadier and now we're going to see this finish off the Basilisk Grider, yeah, just playing the... I mean, Here's the Grenadier. if you okay. don't play the Grenadier, you take yeah. 10, and all of a sudden you're dead to Mystic Shot get yeah. excited. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, alright, so we see the Grenadier, and now that's going to be two more damage. I think if he just plays Harrowing next turn, he wins. Oh, wait, no, uh, sorry, a there's a deny. There's a deny. Yeah, there's yeah. a deny. Um, um, he might go for it anyway, though, and that might kill him. You know, if you ever pass the no. turn without units on board... Why, why, yeah, but why would he... He would go for the Decimate before the Harrowing. Like, why... Well, he doesn't have mana for both. No, I know. I'm just saying, like, why oh, yeah, would you yeah. just go for the... Har like, you would just play the Decimate because You're it's the cheaper. One that said he might play heroin. I know, I know. Listen, listen. I totally didn't... I forgot he had a deny in hand, all right? Jeez. That card that, you know, stops anything. Yeah, we yeah. Forgot, I forgot about it. <laughs> so we see... All right, Disciple. So I guess... 
Ghoster, and I think he's probably smart to do this with Fyreal being at two health, is probably going to take this nice and easy, nice and slow. Uh, but he does need to finish this off soon because we do have a lot of health potions on the side of Fyreal. And Spirit's okay, Refuge. So if you play Demolitionist here and Fyreal answers with the Get Excited, he doesn't have the mana to Thermobeam the Darius and I think just dies. Um... Oh, to an attack. Yeah. Yeah, this... Oh, yeah, this is totally... This is... This is... Deny. You, uh, well, actually, no. You could get excited. The... Yeah, but if you get excited, then you're down to four mana and you can't kill the Darius. So... Oh, so he's actually... Okay, so he's going... Okay. This is interesting. So, okay, but he dies. He dies anyways. So, now he has to get excited, right? Well... Not necessarily. So now he does actually have the Thermo Beam mana to kill the Darius, which is sort of the thing that we were worried about. But actually, we're just going to see a surrender. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. I so that's uh, a quick 2-0 now by Ghost Driver. And we see, again, just, just winning over and over again. Ghost Driver, Ghost Driver just on a roll recently with, uh, with these tournaments. And he will advance to the finals. Of yeah. this PCS I, qualifier. So, if, if I'm right here, you know, Fire Real didn't actually die that turn. I think he went down to one, then you Thermobeam the Darius, your opponent attacks with his two units, you block with your two units, you survive at one, but then, you know, then you have to deny the Decimate on the following turn, and then you just die to the Harrowing on the turn after that, unless you can find a second deny. So it's kind of understandable that that's not how this worked out. But he that would have given him two more turns to draw, draw into a Spirit's Refuge. Yeah, that's true too. So that there is a slim chance that he could have potentially come back from that. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I get it. We get it. It is what it is. Um, all right. So let's real quick. I'm going to try to get an update. Uh, it's going to be Ghoster Driver versus Numi in the finals. And I don't. Okay. All right. We, we, we gave Ghoster Driver the advantage in that game. Right. Because he's on a Terra lately, and we know Ghost Driver, right? He's he's won Duels and Terra. After seeing Numi with the ten-headed five D chess gameplay, who are we giving the advantage to here in the finals? I think I still have to give it to Ghoster Driver, just because the PZ Ionia is a deck that he likes to pick on, and Heimer Vi isn't super well poised for dealing with the lineup that Ghoster Driver has brought. So no matter how well Numiel plays it, I think there's still a lot of room for this Heimer Vi to just get to out. Yeah, there is uh, definitely a good chance. We'll see if uh, she can actually pilot this Heimer Vi around someone's victories. Or maybe it just gets banned out. Who knows? Uh, we will see here in a little bit. All right, that's the last of the semis. We only got the finals left. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. And as always, everybody stay healthy, stay positive. Hope shit just works for you. Peace out.